Hey everybody and welcome back here to our Weymouth series on FM20. Today we are kicking off our 10th season of this series and we are taking on Watford today to kick off the season and it is our third season here in the Premier League as well and hopefully it is going to be our best season of the series yet. Before we do get this season underway though, we have quite a bit of things to go over, and we're going to start off with our transfer news. As always, we're going to start off with players that have joined the club. We already won over Clebinho and Vadim Torn last season. They have now officially joined our team. So our first new player is a free transfer. This is a center back. Callum Eaton, who joins us from Manchester United. He is 24 years old, and he looks to be a really solid center back. His physical and mental attributes are really, really good, and his technical attributes for a center back are really nice as well. And he is able to play the ball out from the back with 14 passing, exactly the type of center back I would like to have at my club. He is already our best center back at the club, and I'm really excited to see what he can do for us. He never made any appearances for Manchester United, but he got sent out on loan a couple of times and has made 89 appearances. Last season, he was out on loan in the Bundesliga, where he made 26 appearances. So I'm very excited to have Callum joining our team. Next up, we have... Bruno Mendes joining us from Porto for 19.5 million. Bruno is a right-sided inside forward. And I'm very excited about how good our right side should be this season. His physical attributes are absolutely insane. 16 acceleration, 19 agility, 16 balance, and 16 pace. Him and Xavier Amici are going to be battling it out this season to get that starting role, but I am confident in either one of them. But at the moment, Xavier will just have the slight edge over Bruno. But if we're going to be seeing a lot of Bruno this season, I am sure of it. At 24 years old, he can still improve a little bit, and he's going to be hitting his peak here in the next couple of years. At Porto, he made 79 appearances for the first team and getting 15 goals. So already having a decent amount of experience. And as you'll see, we have a bit of a Portuguese revolution on our team this season. Hopefully, they can lead us to some glory. Uh, next up isn't a really exciting signing, but it is an important one. It is a backup goalkeeper, Samuel Brolin. He is a 27-year-old Swedish goalkeeper. Last season was spent out on loan with Doncaster from Stoke. We still have Pontus Dahlberg, but he has a long-term injury, so we needed to get someone in, and Samuel Brolin is a solid backup for the team. We have him on a low wage, so it made sense for us to get him in. So he joins us on a two-year deal, and we have three more signings to go over, and that they are all Portuguese, starting off with David Coto joining us from Malaga for 5.5 million. He is a 24-year-old left back that will be giving us good coverage in that left back position. Christian Marsiler will be our starter, but I'm confident when we need David, he will be able to step in and do a job for us. He made 68 appearances for Malaga and already has 139 league appearances for various teams. So again, joining us with experience, which is definitely something I was looking for this offseason. Next up is probably my favorite signing this season. It is Marcio Coto joining us from Porto for 30 million. He is going to be our new starting defensive midfielder. He is 21 years old and has a lot of potential. And he absolutely bossed it for us in the preseason. Average rating of 8.4, passing completion of 93, and getting 5 assists from that deep lying role. Super excited to have Marcio joining our team. Uh, last season he did spend time out on loan with Italian side Pordenone. 
Uh, sure, we're gonna go with that pronunciation. He never made a senior appearance for Porto, but he did get quite a few appearances for their B team. So again, another player that already has experience. Uh, he is one of our young. He is our youngest signing that's going to be in our first team. And our last Portuguese player to go over is Nelson Semedo. He is now 34 years old, but still has the quality to be our starting right back this season. I mean, you can look at the attributes right now, and you can tell that he is still a very solid player, and someone that is going to help our younger players develop into professional players. He has 476 career senior appearances, along with 56 national team appearances for Portugal. If you look at his career stats, you can see the teams that he's played for. Benfica, Barcelona, Manchester United, and Juventus. And now joining another big club here in Weymouth, England. Welcome to the Terras, Nelson Semedo. So that is all the players that have joined the team. Now, we haven't really had too many players that leave the club, at least on permanent transfers. We do have a lot of players out on loan, as you can tell. But we did sell two players, one of them being Ricardo Rodriguez. We sold him off to Austrian side Rapid Vienna for 900000 and we can still get an extra 200 k off of him. We had him for just one season here at the Terras. He did his job last season, but his physical attributes were just declining too fast. So we got him sold off, and we brought in David Koto to replace him. But he did get 23 appearances for us last season and getting three goals as well. He brought much needed experience for us last season. And we wish Ricardo all the best as he looks to wind out the remaining years of his career. Yeah, so we're not going to go over all the players that we have loaned out. But you can see him there. Uh, there are some notable players that we have sent out. Including David Babka loaned out to... Uh, League One side Crew Alexandra. He's going to get valuable playing time there. We also sent out on loan Makingo back to his first club in France, Toulouse. So he should be picking up some nice top flight experience this season. He's still young and has a lot of potential. So that playing time he'll get in France will be very, very huge for his development. And if we go over to players that we released, there are a couple of players. Uh, we released Will Dennis, Anwar El Ghazi, Jack Cooper, David Buckley, and Tom Coulson. Uh, Will Dennis was a backup keeper for us for a couple of seasons. Anwar El Ghazi got 51 appearances for the Terras, spent last season out on loan, didn't really get any game time out on loan. But he's now 33 years old, just not up to our standard anymore. His physicals are pretty much gone. My guess is he'll probably go back to the Netherlands. Or uh, it looks like Bolton are interested in him. But yeah, he doesn't have too many years left in his career. Hopefully he does get picked up by a team for a year or two. Jack Cooper, he was one of our own players. He made 39 appearances for the Terras. With his career. Uh, other one. Nothing really to note on them. So if we go over here to our preseason schedule. You can see that we had a very very solid start to our preseason. We had our training camp in Hong Kong. And we absolutely obliterated the Hong Kong teams. Look at the wins. 14-0. 11-0. 17-0. 11-0. And 10-0. I'm pretty positive they didn't get a single shot on us in any of those games. Let's just take a quick look, shall we? No shots there. No shots there. No shots there. No shots there. And no shots there. Uh, we did have 69 shots. Nice. So, yeah, we absolutely dominated Hong Kong. And hopefully... Picking up some fans along the way. So then we went back to England and we took on Plymouth. And what do you know? It was a goalless game in that one. So what's that? 
after scoring 60 some goals, we end up having a goalless draw in our next game. But hey, that's all right. It's preseason. It's all about getting our squad match fit and ready to go for the season. Um, after that game, we took on Dorchester and got an 8-0 win. And then in the final preseason game, it was against our toughest opponent, La Liga side Celta Vigo, and Sam Greenwood steps up and gets a late game winner in that game. So if we go over to the Premier League and look at and look at the preseason odds, we are finally not the bottom team. We are second from bottom. So look, we're moving up in the world. They think Blackburn are going to be the only team worse than us this season. Well, we're going to prove them wrong once again. We have the same odds as West Ham, Leicester, and Brighton as well. So yeah, that is, I believe, all the stuff to really go over. Um, our stadium expansion is just about done. It's going to finish at the end of August. So for the first couple home games, it's going to be a slightly reduced capacity. But it's going to be an exciting time once that expansion is done. And you know what? We're going to see if we can go straight into another expansion as well. Because I'm pretty sure we're still going to have a sold out stadium once it is finished. And then coming up in November, both our youth and training facilities will have upgrades being completed. And then also coming up in September, we have an upgrade for our data analysis facilities. So exciting times here with the Terras. So here we go. This is the team that we will be starting off the season with today. We have Felipe Gomez in goal once again. Our back line will be Christian Marsiler, Callum Eaton, Martin Prokopek, and Nelson Samedo. Our midfield trio will be Marcio Koto, Nikola Ratchic, Yoshiro Yoshida. And then our attacking three is going to be Xavier Amici, where Pacquia and Mattia Rodolfi leading the line. I'm very happy with the squad. We got some new players in. Three of them are going to be starters. Bruno Mendes could be a starter, but I'm giving the edge to Xavier Amici. They are very, very similar in their quality, so it's going to be a good competition for that starting right-sided inside forward. I did look at quite a few players to get inside for our left inside forward, but the players that I was uh, targeting clubs just didn't want to sell them, and I wasn't comfortable paying a lot of money for a player that I wasn't 100% confident in, so we're going to save our money. So where Pacquia keeps his starting position, at least for now, but we're going to keep looking, we're going to keep scouting, we're always looking to improve. So let's go ahead and get this season underway. We're going to be kicking off the season away at Vicarage Road, taking on Watford. And we are underway here for yet another season. Come on, you Terras. Finally, our first highlight here, just before halftime, the Terras are on the ball. Can we find a goal late in the first half here? Amici has it on this right-hand side. He cuts inside. Pacquia, go on, pick that up. Oh, are we going to get a penalty here? No, apparently not. Thanks for blowing that play dead, ref. And we were going to pick up the ball. So instead of having an opportunity, we go into halftime. Goalless here. We have dominated possession. Watford have had more shots than this, so... They have three bookings. Let's see if we can capitalize on all our possession here in the second half. All right, an early highlight here in the second half now. Terra's on the ball once again. A dangerous challenge by one of their players who are already on a yellow card. But it was deemed fair, and we're playing on here. Terra's still on the ball. Packy on this left-hand side. Cross it is in for Rodolfi, who hits it off the crossbar. Wow, he hit that on the volley. That would have been an incredible goal. Prokebeck picks up a yellow card, but we're on the ball once again here with another highlight. Bringing it forward. That's got to be a red card. Get that player out of here. Straight red. He is taking an early bath. 
We need to capitalize on it. Gonna make that change. Um, Hakia and Rodolfi both on a 6.4. We'll make a change if they don't improve, but we need to capitalize on our man advantage now. And we have a corner. Koto whips it in. Is that a penalty? That has to be a penalty. And it is. Rodolfi is going to step up to take the penalty for the Terras. And he buries that. It's 1-0 to the Terras. Mattia Rodolfi getting our first goal of the season. Let's go. All right. We're going to make our first substitution. We're going to bring on Bruno Mendes for his debut. And we'll also bring on Rufo for Samedo. And we'll hold on to our final substitution for now. All right, we're going to make our final substitution. We're going to bring on David Koto for his debut. Marsiler is looking nervous out there. So we're going to bring on David for his debut for the final 10 minutes of this game. Come on, David. And we have a highlight. Yoshida whips on a free kick. Oh, that's gone in. Martin Prokobek, let's go. Rises up above the defender and he heads in that Yoshiro Yoshida free kick. 2-0 to the Terras. We look like we're going to get off to a winning start here. Let's go. Oh, we have another highlight here. Can we get a third goal? That would be lovely. Go on, Mendez. He wins that header, kind of, but it falls to no one. We do pick up the ball and we're looking to get an attack here. Yes, go on, Mendez. Oh, he heads it off the post. Oh, man, imagine coming on and getting a goal on his debut just a couple minutes after coming onto the pitch. And there is the full-time whistle. We end up getting a 2-0 victory over Watford. Definitely made a bit easier when they got their players sent off in the 53rd minute. But Rodolfi and Prokebeck getting two important goals for us. Let's go. And look at that. We are top of the table. It doesn't matter if not everyone has played. Weymouth are top of the Premier League. Go ahead and screenshot that. The Terras are top of the table. But in all seriousness, what a great start to the season. I'm pretty positive that is the first time we get off to a winning start here in the Premier League. And hopefully that'll give our team a nice confidence boost for the upcoming games and see if we can get off to a really, really good start. As I already mentioned, I'm kind of optimistic about this season. I think we have a chance of finishing our best ever finish in the Premier League. And hopefully we can challenge for a European place. I'm not quite sure we're good enough to actually get a place in Europe yet. But if we can put some pressure on some of those teams, I would be extremely proud of the team. But that is where we're going to end off this episode today. If you have enjoyed it, go ahead and leave the video a like down below. And go ahead and comment where you think we're going to finish this season in the Premier League. Think we're going to be in a relegation battle? Think we're just a mid-table team? You think we're good enough for a European place? Maybe we'll pull a Leicester and win the Premier League. Go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. If you are new around here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell as well. And until next time, it's been your Boyd147.